Hey there movie fans, it's Eastwood for Life Fan and I have received this package from Donny aka Cinemaniac77 and it's a very large box um, weighing just over 9 kilos so let's have a look what the Don has sent to us So guys, we will get through this package that Donny, aka Cinemaniac77, sent to us. And uh, this video is take two. I did shoot this video and it came around the 45 minute mark. Uh, whether it was a, a little bit too long, uh, I had trouble uploading the video. I tried that four times so I will be reshooting this video, hopefully to get it around about the uh, 30 minute mark. So, we'll get through and see what Donny had uh, sent to us. And he did send out a note to us. Uh, says, uh, Hola, me amigo. A thousand apologies for this extremely late parcel, but due to different circumstances, the damn COVID-19 being one of them, I couldn't send it earlier. Some of the titles inside this large box are ones you requested, and others are surprises or freebies as you like to call them. I certainly hope you're happy with them. You made it quite impossible for me to come up with something that would equal or even top the uh, Franco Nero signed book you gave me last year. How can anyone top that? Perhaps a Clint Eastwood signed book would be a good idea if only I could contact the man. Anyway, I hope you and your loved ones are safe and well. Take good care, Carlos. Best regards, Donny, a.k.a. Cinemaniac77. And he has sent us a uh, Eastwood picture from the movie for a few dollars more. And also on the back, you get a cool printed out picture of uh, a lot of the uh, spaghetti western heroes and villains. I'll uh, be using this as a background to a video in the future. Yeah, what happens is normally every December I would send Donny a package of Spaghetti Western titles, which helps uh, build his collection. And uh, normally Donny would send us a package to show his appreciation, uh, you know, a few requested titles. Uh, originally, he was going to send this video out around uh, Easter this year, but obviously the COVID situation slowed that down. And he did send this parcel out to us, which I got about a month ago, but I've been having problems with uh, filming with this LEV, LED uh, tripod light. So we'll try to uh, show what I uh, got. First title is Donato and Daughter, a uh, Charles Bronson DVD, only release of this. Uh, Donnie did know I was after this TV movie. As uh, far as I know, this is the only release of this movie. Uh, one of the last uh, starring roles for Bronson, and this title has kind of eluded me in my collection. I do have a bootleg of this, and only wanted to know if I was after this, which I was, so he, he included it in the package. So, real happy to receive this one. The next few are freebies. He sent me this uh, Danger Diabolic, and uh, originally, originally, when I shot the vi first time I shot this video, all these titles were kind of uh, packaged with bubble wrap and some notes about each movie. Uh, this one, Danger Diabolic, is a Mario Bava movie which stars uh, John Philip Law. I think Don sent this one to me because uh, John Philip Law, he was featured in one of the uh, best spaghetti westerns, Death Rides a Horse with Lee Van Cleef. And this is one I haven't seen. I haven't seen a whole lot of his movies. But yeah, we'll check this one out for sure. 
Next was a TV series which got cancelled. Cancelled. Uh, this is a HBO uh, series, Quarry, which I did check out the trailer about a Vietnam vet who returns to Memphis. And it's an eight episode series which got cancelled. But normally HBO series are pretty well made. Uh, Game of Thrones, The Sopranos. Any of you guys have check this one out quarry uh, let us know what i am in for but it looked good in the trailer so i was happy for donnie to send this one out to us this one's a dutch release which has a english audio and he also sent me uh, the award-winning movie uh, parasite uh, I haven't seen that many Asian movies, but the recent ones I have seen, uh, ones like Old Boy and Train to Busan, I really enjoyed. Uh, obviously, this one was a uh, big winner at the Oscars. Try not to read too much about this movie. I want to go into this movie uh, blind. Uh, this one's a requested uh, title, 80s uh, Rutger Hauer movie, uh, Wanted Dead or Alive. Rutger Hauer plays Nick Randall, a bounty hunter. Really enjoyed this one back in the VHS days. Also stars uh, Gene Simmons. And this is the Kino Lorber US release. As uh, far as I know, there is also a German media book release of this one. And Donnie did add some notes to this, saying that Mel Gibson and James Kahn were considered actors for this role, but the fee that they wanted were a lot more higher than what Rutger Hauer uh, wanted to appear in this movie. But it's one of Rutger Hauer's uh, best movies and one that I've always enjoyed. So big thank you for sending this title out to us, Donnie. Next one's a uh, Blu-ray set of Bud Spencer and Terence Hill movies. And this is a Dutch release collection number two. Uh, in a previous package, Donnie did send out the uh, previous uh, box set. And you get six movies in these uh, slapstick comedy movies from uh, Terence Hill and Bud Spencer. You get even Angels Eat Beans, uh, Watch Out, We... Watch out, we're mad. Super Snooper, Banana Joe, Thieves and Robbers, and also Aladdin. Uh, slapstick uh, comedy movies from this uh, famous Italian duo. Yeah, big thank you for sending this one out. Always a lot of fun revisiting uh, these movies. I think out of this one, Super Snooper, what I'm. Um, Familiar with that one. The next two movies are from the actor who almost became Indiana Jones. Uh, if you guys know your movies, you know that we are talking about Tom Selleck. And uh, these are requested titles. A uh, Peter Yates movie, An Innocent Man. Good prison drama, this one starring Tom Selleck, and this is also a Kino Lorba release, one that I enjoyed back in the uh, VHS days. Kind of an underrated movie, this one. Innocent Man. And also another Tom Selleck movie, Quigley Down Under, which is a pretty underrated western. And this is the US Shout Select release. And in this western, you also get um, Alan Rickman. He plays the bad guy in this one. And it's been a while since I've seen this movie. Not since the uh, VA chess day. So another western that's uh, crossed off the uh, wanted list. So big thanks for sending these uh, ones out to us, Donny. Another western he sent to us is uh, five... Card Stud, a late 60s western starring Dean Martin and Robert Mitchum. 
and I think this was a requested title can't remember if I have seen this one next one is rolling thunder and I think I commented on a video an update of Donnie's saying I've never seen this movie this one's kind of always skipped me by I always remember that cover this one's co-written by uh, Paul Sh Schrader. He'd done the screenplay for Scorsese's uh, Taxi Driver with uh, Robert De Niro. Yeah, Rolling Thunder. And another Western. This is The Last Hard Man. I think this one is also a Dutch release. Uh, mid 70s American Western starring Charlton Heston and James Coburn. I think I'd seen this in a uh, Donnie's Western collection, uh, one I haven't seen, and did kind of was kind of curious about this uh, partnership in the movie of Heston and James Coburn. Uh, much preferred. James Coburn in his westerns and Charlton Heston but yeah this is a Dutch one which has a English audio release so thanks for adding this one to the package also Donnie next three movies are from the uh, Mexican director and actor Guillermo del Toro and uh, these are movies I haven't seen The Devil's uh, Backbone from the uh, director of Hellboy and other movies. I think this one is uh, only has uh, English subtitles. Next one is Coronos. I haven't seen a whole a lot of his uh, movies if I'm truly honest but a respected director for sure and this one's Pan's uh, Labyrinth two disc uh, set comes with the uh, fancy slip cover Next to our westerns, uh, ones that I am not really familiar with, early uh, 50s. This is Audie Murphy, The Jewel at Silver Creek. Uh, Lee Marvin does have a small role in this uh, early 50s uh, western. Ones that were added to the package as freebies. This is a uh, Dutch release. And another Woody Murphy movie. This is uh, The Jewel at uh, Silver Creek, a uh, German release. Uh, this one's directed by Don, Don Siegel. I am familiar with the cover, but I don't think I've seen uh, this one. 1950s Western, this one. On to see uh, on to some uh, Euro crime movies from one of the uh, top directors in the uh, genre, Fernando del Leo. This is Shoot First, Die Later from the uh, Raro Video US uh, label. And this one stars Luke, yeah, Luke Miranda and also uh, Richard Conti. Uh, actors that were always popped up in these uh, Euro crime movies. This is one I haven't seen. Do get the booklet with this one. Yeah, big thanks for sending this one out. Always like some Euro crime uh, Italian movies.
and some more Eurocrime movies from the Raro video label. This is the, the uh, Fernando de Leo crime collection. Thought I had this, but I think I have the uh, second volume. I think this is the first volume. Correct me if I'm wrong. You get four movies, Calibre 9, The Italian Connection, The Boss, Rulers of the City. These are the movies. Calibre 9, early 70s. Um, the Italian Connection, starring uh, Henry Silva. And also Henry Silva is in The Boss with Richard Conte and uh, Gianni uh, Garco and also Rulers of the City with uh, Jack Palance and this you get the uh, booklet just quickly go through this set some Eurocrime goodness and the booklet to go with this fine set yeah I didn't have to send this one out to us, Donny. Uh, yeah, real big package of uh, titles here for sure. And some more Italian movies. Told you this was a big box of uh, titles. He sent me the uh, Umberto Lenzi and Carol Baker Giallo collection. This is the uh, US Severin blu-ray uh, release um yeah i knew donnie was going to send this one out to us because i think he complained about the corner of this box that came damaged damaged uh, with that he got another copy and uh, rather than sell this he asked if i wanted this set to be added to the package and i said yeah why not i don't mind some giallo movies and this is a six disc set and also i don't have a uh, any uh severin uh, movie releases a nice little box set and these titles come out are uh, in these uh black cases you get uh orgasmo also in this one, Lou Castell, who's in the uh, Spaghetti Western Requisicant, or AKA Kill and Pray. Most of the, these uh, Giallo movies were made in the 60s and 70s. So sweet, so perverse. Also starring the uh, French actor who played the Mew in The Great Silence. A Quiet Place to Kill. So the last title is Knife of Ice. Do like the artwork on these uh, covers. Italian giallo movies. Yeah, a very nice set. And my first uh, releases from the uh, Severin label. So thanks for thinking of us on this one, Donny, and adding this one to the package. Next one's a Russian masterpiece as donnie says this one's war and peace and on the information that he added with this this is a seven hour masterpiece a korean release don't know a whole lot about this and i will be adding the link to the package that I sent to Donny as he shows his appreciation to this box set and uh, this is a wooden western collection box set uh, which features two movies that uh, were wanted uh, on the wanted list so you get four titles in this set so, 
One being the War Wagon, John Wayne and Kirk Douglas. One I've been after for a while. Also the sequel to True Grit. John Wayne and Catherine Hepburn in uh, Rooster Cogburn. And part of this set, Donnie knew that I already had this one, two mules for Sister Sarah, Eastwood and Shirley MacLaine. And also Joe Kidd, and a Western directed by John Sturgis. Yeah, big thank you for this German Western box collection of two Eastwood movies and two uh, John Wayne movies that I've been after for a while. Real nice touch. The uh, next six titles are still books that Donnie sent to us. Um, you didn't have to send as many as you did, Donnie, but I'm grateful whatever you send to us uh, this is 71 movie starring jack o'connell one i'm not familiar with guys if you've seen this movie uh, let us know on your thoughts this one's a nice steel book of a great movie uh, mickey rourke in the wrestler it was kind of like his uh, comeback movie. Yeah, big thank you for sending this one out, Donnie. I do have a normal uh, Amore, so this one is uh, much appreciated. A fine movie starring Mickey Rourke. And he's also added Kick-Ass. Fun movie, this one. Pacific Rim 3D Del Toro movie and he also sent me Righteous Kill and actually I was going to send off for this movie because it's a Pacino and De Niro movie I haven't got um, one I actually didn't mind I remember watching this at the cinema uh, it's not classic De Niro or Pacino like in uh, Heat or the uh, latest one The Irishman but I didn't think it was as bad as what people said it was but yeah big thank you for sending this one out Righteous Kill in this uh, steel book uh, format and the last steel book is uh, comedy action movie Red Bruce Willis, Morgan Freeman, John Malkovich, and also Helen Mirren. This is a fun movie, this one. And they did do, yeah, they did do a sequel, which I didn't see, but yeah, this is a good one. And more freebies to come. Uh, a lot of these ones I didn't know he was going to add. This is The Dead. Uh, this one looks like a uh, Walking Dead ripoff, but I do like my zombie movies. This comes with the slipcover. Next one's The Art of Steel. Uh, looks like a good cast with Kurt Russell, um, also Terence Stamp, and also Matt Dillon is in this movie. Yeah, you went a little bit overboard with the movies, Donnie. If I would have had a third of these, uh, still would have been appreciative. Uh, next one's True Romance, which I do have the Blu-ray version of this. The uh, unrated director's cut. This one's a fine movie with a great cast. Christian Slater, Patricia Arquette, Dennis Hopper, Val Kilmer, Gary Oldman, Brad Pitt and Christopher Walken. Uh, plays a great villain and also James Galdafini pops up in this one as well this one I'm not familiar with a George Luca Lucas movie 
THX1138 I don't know how to pronounce this movie um, Francis Ford Coppola is the executive producer I haven't seen this one this looks like a real weird one Uh, this one's a uh, requested one. This is Day of the Cobra, starring Franco Nero, and I was after this one. And this one is a Blu-ray, even though it's packaged in a sh in a DVD case. It does come with the DVD. Also, William Berger is in this uh, Enzo G. Castellari movie, German release, Day of the Cobra. Franco Nero movie that's crossed off my list, wanted list. Uh, this one, the Andromeda Strain, and this is one I am not familiar with from the creator of Jurassic Park. Next one's The Entity, which I do have a copy of, uh, based on the true story, this one, starring Barbara Hershey. Very underrated uh, horror movie, this one. Snakes on a Plane, Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, yeah, silly one. And the next one is The uh, Fifth Element. Uh, actually, I actually walked out this one in the cinema. I uh, didn't have wasn't in the right frame of mind when I watched this movie Bruce Willis, Gary Oldman, Ian Holm and yeah a bit bizarre sci-fi movie this one but yeah comes with the slipcover and there is a 4k release of this one but Bruce Willis in that one the next one is The Don is Dead, a uh, gangster movie I've always wanted to watch with uh, Anthony Quinn. There is going to be a indicator UK release of this one with Robert Forrester in this one, who passed away not too long ago. And he's also added this one, Gosford Park, a uh, murder mystery movie this one a whodunit and the last item of this uh, big and epic package he has sent me this uh, German collector's release edition of Robin Hood a uh, great Ridley Scott movie starring Russell Crowe it comes in this uh, big chunky book with the ribbon it's old fashioned book so we'll get through and have a look at this and see what's inside this big surprise and inside this book get loads of goodies text is in German you get a notebook that's inside the book and the items in this release you get this uh, notebook this fancy uh, notebook The uh, number of this release, 4,559. And then part of the set, you get a, a uh, insert that shows all the items that come in this uh, limited German collector's set of Robin Hood. You get this uh, nice coin. Nice item. 
and then there is a uh, booklet in German text and it basically shows pictures and uh, write-ups of the characters in the uh, movie always do like a booklet in a uh, collector's set And you get some uh, Robin Hood playing cards. And you get some high quality movie photo cards. Shots of the movie. One of the uh, battle scenes. A uh, classic uh, Ridley Scott movie. One of my uh, favourite directors. Some more battle scenes. And you also get the most important item is the uh, steelbook with the discs, a two disc special edition. DVD and also Blu-ray. And this does come with a English audio. So yeah, there is the uh, German limited collector's edition of Robin Hood in this uh, amazing box or book set. Uh, certainly has the uh, wow factor and a, uh, an item that I will cherish, uh, Donnie. So many thanks for sending this uh, beautiful uh, edition. Uh, you didn't have to, but really appreciate if that you sent this one so guys we will go through uh, just a quick recap of what donnie has sent to us in this epic package so we'll start off with the freebies that i didn't know that he was going to add to this package we get free movies of some uh, del toro mo uh, movies ones that he directed and some more DVD freebies Gosford Park The Entity Fifth Element I do have to completely uh, watch that movie Snakes on a Plane this is a fun one which I don't have And also some steel books. Love the uh, the wrestler steel book. That is a real nice one. And also Righteous Kill, which saves myself from ordering that uh, movie. And also Red, which is a pretty good one with Bruce Willis. And also some westerns included in the package. The last hard. Men, one that a uh, Donny got for us, Charlton Heston and uh, James Coburn. A couple of uh, Aldi Murphy um, westerns, ones that I've never seen before. They were freebies. Five card stud, which uh, one I asked about, and this nice wooden uh, German western collection set, which includes two John Wayne movies that. I didn't have in the Western collection and a few Eastwood movies. Some uh, Eurocrime movies and a uh, gangster movie. You get this uh, Fernando de Leo crime collection set. So also another Fernando de Leo movie. They have the Cobra, a uh, Franco Nero movie that I asked Donnie to get because 
it was a little awkward for me to pick up from Germany another gangster movie the Don is dead uh, this was a freebie with Anthony Quinn a uh, Dutch collection uh, set number two of the Bud Spencer and Terence Hill movies and this beautiful Severin uh, Giallo movie box set Umberto Lenzi and Carol Baker set and some more the uh, top three are freebies that I knew about looking forward to checking out Parasite to see what all the fuss is all about Rolling Thunder one I've always wanted to see and the uh, these three were kind of like the main ones I really wanted wanted uh, Dead or Alive Rutger Hauer favorite of mine a couple of Tom Selleck movies ones that are from my wanted list and a uh, Charles Bronson movie that's been missing from my collection And also this uh, biggie, the Robin Hood, the German uh, limited edition of uh, Robin Hood, Russell Crowe movie. And this beautiful uh, picture that you printed out for us, Donnie. Uh, much appreciated for the goodies and also the uh, uh, big uh, plastic sleeve uh, baggies that you also sent to us. So guys, what did you think of these uh, titles that Donnie, Cinemaniac77, uh, sent to us? Um, and if you haven't subbed to his great channel, uh, well, shame on you because, uh, you know, he is one of the uh, top collectors uh, on YouTube. Uh, I know that I say that quite a lot, but if you know Donnie's channel, Cinemaniac77, he's been making videos for many years and... Uh, for me, he has one of the best all-round uh, movie genre collections. So please check out his channel if you haven't subbed to him and, and do so. So guys, till the next video, I hope you're all well and uh, having a great Christmas. Take care and as always, keep on collecting.